Right, you lot. Aston Villa are due to play Lille in two days. First leg at Villa Park. It's the quarter-finals of the Europa Conference League. Let's talk the Euro Villa. And jumping straight into it with my starting lineup for this game. Obviously, it's a crucial game in our season. This European campaign has been nothing short of extraordinary dumping Ajax in the last round. We now go to Lille, a very established team in Ligue 1 who are currently doing quite well. We'll get onto all of that a little bit later on. Villa are going to look to put their Premier League mishaps behind them in recent weeks. And this is the team I think we will send out to do it. In goal, obviously, Emi Martinez. We haven't had a cup goalkeeper this season. It's just been Martinez in every single game, which is fair enough. He is the best goalkeeper in the world. Uh, and then Alex Moreno out on the left to give Luca Dina a rest. I think Dina is going to be more of our Premier League starting uh, left-back going forward uh, in the next coming weeks. So D uh, sorry, Moreno, obviously, to give him a rest. I've gone for long late over Paul Torres. Paul Torres had a bit of a woeful game against Brentford. He's still getting back to full fitness. I don't think we can afford to start him just yet. I'd prefer to see him come on maybe around the 60th, 70th minute for uh, Longley when he gets a bit leggy towards the end of the game. Obviously, he's going to be up against a very good striker who we will get onto very shortly as well. Uh, next to him, Diego Carlos keeping his spot uh, purely because Matty Cash isn't ready for first-team football again yet. I'm not sure if we registered Kane Kessler Hayden in our European squad. Someone in the comments will be able to fact-check me on that. But I think Conce is our only option at right-back, so he stays. On the left, I've gone with Morgan Rogers. He's been one of our best players in recent weeks, and I do have a video in the pipeline all about him coming up very, very soon. And that allows John McGinn to go into the middle of the park uh, instead of Yuri Tielemans. I, don't, I, don't, I like Tielemans. I think he's done well, but he's doing well as a split striker, not that deep centre mid role. And I think now we've got John McGinn back. We have to use him there. Uh, and obviously, Douglas Louise very, very stupidly got a yellow card in the 97th minute against Brentford. So he misses the next two Premier League games. So he will be playing every second of these games in Europe, I am sure, to keep his fitness to where it was and the fact that we don't have to worry about him being tired or leggy for the Premier League as well. Um, and then Moussa Diaby on the right again. Leon Bailey, for me, just looking slightly leggy um, in the Premier League. Diaby got a full rest, came on in the 90th minute against Brentford, so he'll be the fresh-legged uh, one out of the pair. So keep him on the right. And then that allows John Duran, great game against Manchester City. Uh, and then just purely because Watkins is back, he got dropped against... Um, oh, sorry, dropped in the last game against Brentford. And I feel like he deserved a good run of minutes. And I think him and Watkins up front, it's something that we could look to you know, do next season and a bit more regularly going forward. They're both great players. I really, really like John Duran. I think, obviously, his ceiling is higher than the sky itself. So we need to start giving him minutes. And why not in this situation? And then, obviously, Ollie Watkins on the left-hand side of that strike partnership as well. Our only fit... Well, hit up. John Duran's technically a striker, but he's also like a forward. Ollie Watkins, out-and-out -out striker, 18 goals, 10 assists this season. Can he take us to the semi-finals? I bloody well hope so. But that's my Villa team. What do you guys think? Would you change anything for this game? Maybe bring Tielemans in. Uh, maybe a Timmer Rogmanum to come in to solidify the ship and then drop Morgan Rogers to the bench to rest him for the Premier League. A lot of options, despite all the injuries, which is very, very good for us. But this is what I think would be able to get us a you know one 2 0 victory to take to France in a couple of weeks. If we look at our opposition, Lille currently sit fourth in Ligue 1, which probably isn't as much of an accomplishment as Villa sitting fifth in the Premier League because I believe, I think it's about 60% of the teams in Ligue 1 actually have side hustles where they sort of like cattle and livestock um, and corn and grain farmers. Um, hence why I don't know if you've heard it called the Farmers League. So hopefully we should actually be able to get one up on this team and get to the semi-finals of the Conference League and keep that trophy in Clara and Blue. Shout out to the Irons. Um, but this is how they lined up in their last game, which I believe was a 3-1 victory over Olympic Marseille. Um, Chevalier in goal, Ismaili uh, left, uh, left back with Alessandro and Euro in the middle. Uh, on the right-hand side, Santos Andre, who's their captain, a holding midfielder, I think he's about 33 years old, um, played for them. Uh, Holdson, I think is one they signed recently for 15 million. Nabil Bentaleb, a lot of you might remember him from his days with, I think it was Spurs, in the Premier League. Uh, Remy Cabela, who seems to be around for ages, but actually hasn't really done much with his career, which I was surprised about. On the left, 
um, Zagova on the right, and then their main player, the one that we really, really need to watch out for, um, one that I think Villa have actually been linked with quite a lot in the past, and that is the Canadian wonder kid himself, Jonathan David up front, who did actually get a goal. On the bench, Goodmanson, Diacate, if you play FIFA, you'll know all about his centre-back cards. Uh, Tiago Moraes, another one that I recognise, as well as Ivan Cavallero, a left winger, a young left winger, I believe. Um, one notable absence that you will see from that team is Angel or Angle Gomez. Used to play for Manchester United, touted to be kind of of a similar elk to Jadon Sancho, or I suppose you look at where Sancho's career has gone and Mm, com si com sa, um, as the French would say, or is that Spanish? I have no idea. Um, anyway, mercy for that one. Uh, but Angel Gomez is actually injured and he's not due to be back until the 18th of April, so he won't be available for selection for this game. Um, if we bring up a couple of their stats here, I'll pop them up on the screen so you probably won't be able to see much of me, but their top goal scorers this season. Jonathan David, of course, with 16 goals, and then Edon Zagoza with five, Zakitsi with four, and then Diakate with three, uh, linked with Andre as well. We look at their assists, um, and there you see why it's going to be actually so good for Villa that he is missing for this game. Um, Angel Gomez at the top of that list with six assists. We look at their recent results. If I scroll back over here to this hand side for you, um, they drew two all with Rons or Rens. Um, and then they drew one all with SK Strum Graz. They won 4 1 on aggregate. That was their Europa Conference League game. Uh, drew 1 1 with Brest. Beat Lens 2 1. And then, like I say, recently beat Olympic Marseille 3 1 as well, leaving them, as you can see there, fourth in League 1. Um, like I say, so you sort of you think you take out 60% of that league, which I think is 20 teams like the Premier League. Um, it leaves you with what, like eight, six to eight teams that aren't actually farmers. So they're doing quite well in terms of that league, and they are in the hunt for those Champions League spots, which I believe for France is the top three teams instead of the top four, hence why they're orange and the teams above them are in blue. Um, we go across to Villa's last results here, if I keep on scrolling, scrolling. Um, and as you can tell, we're not doing fantastic. Before that Ajax game was that 4-0 loss to Spurs. We then went on to beat Ajax 4-0, of course. Uh, drew 1-0 with West Ham, beat Wolves, and then drew to sorry lost to Man City 4-1 before that absolutely disappointing and gut-wrenching collapse to Brentford where we ended up drawing three all. So we're not on the greatest form. Um, I'd say probably Lille come into this game on slightly better form than Villa. But of course, we're playing better teams week in and week out. And we are Villa. We should be winning this game. I'm sorry, we should be getting to the semi-finals of this competition. What do I think is going to happen in this game? Interesting one. Um, I'm going to say we're going to win 2-0. 2-0 to Villa, we're going to take a nice little two-goal advantage back to Lille. The boys will hop on the Euro start and hopefully get the job done. I'm going to go with Ollie Watkins to get both goals with one assist from John Duran and one assist from John McGinn. What do you guys think though? Leave your comments down below. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos now they are back on the channel. I have a special video coming very, very soon. Until then, up the Villa, let's go and beat Lille. Be nice everyone.